So these experts say talking with kids after potentially traumatic events like these are key for their mental health. Today, we went to West High School to hear how parents handled that lockdown and the gun threat with their kids. ABC4's Curtis Booker, live there at West High School in Salt Lake City. So Curtis, what's been the general mood with these families you spoke with this morning? Well, Brian, I can tell you there was definitely a feeling of uncertainty this morning as parents were dropping their kids off here at West High School. Parents I spoke with said they were nervous bringing their kids back today, but they said they felt it was important to offer compassion and a listening ear to their students who may have felt affected by yesterday's events. A day after West High's gun threat on Snapchat and ensuing lockdown, lots of emotions inside cars with parents and students still on edge after yesterday's frightening scenario. Today, the question for parents, how comfortable are you sending your student back to school? It was a little intimidating at first. However, I'm just super proud of how the school and the district and the police department handled the situation. Tracy says her son was nervous heading back into school this morning, but felt calm enough to get back into class. However, one student's mom tells us that decision wasn't as easy for her daughter. My daughter was crying to get out of the car today. Salt Lake City School District leaders say resources are being offered to students and staff, feeling the strain of the threat. And parents we spoke with say it was important to listen to their students heading back to school this morning. Well, I just gave her the option of not going to school today, but she decided to still go to school today. While things appear to be back to normal today, Salt Lake City Police says they're continuing their investigation. They say it's crucial to make sure any threats are reported as soon as possible. That report can come from anyone. It can come from a student. And that's the message from this mom to her son. He should report it to a counselor or a teacher as soon as possible. Now those moms we spoke with said they're grateful for the, to the individuals who did report that Snapchat yesterday and said they're the real heroes in this situation. Live in Salt Lake City, Curtis Booker, ABC4 News.